way we are going to build the uh, e-signature boxes in, we're up at Zero HQ at the moment, uh, preparing our report template. So we're uh, familiar with report fields, which uh, we use for um, bringing in client and report specific information. We're also going to have report fields that bring in the e-signature e box. So you'll click insert field, select the e-signature and it's just a case of clicking OK. You will be able to have multiple e-signatures uh, in each report, you're not limited to just one. Okay, so that's how we're going to bring the field in to sign. The way that we're going to create the pack, from down at the client level, we've got our published report. We're simply going to go to the right, we're going to go add to document pack. We'll then need to select the relevant document pack and then it's just a case of hitting add. This is then going to take us to the document pack itself, which is going to look like this. Down the left hand side, we'll have all the inventories. In the centre, we'll then have the documents within the pack. So I've got my beautiful custom cover letter. I've got my annual accounts and tax return for the Don Cafe. And then you'll notice that underneath each, I've got exactly who needs to sign these documents. So if I need to add, say, an individual tax return for James Smith, all I need to do is go across to Zero Tax. We click the down arrow next to Request e-signature, Add to Document Pack. Again, we select the correct document pack and we add that in. What's then going to happen is once we're ready to send this out, it's going to go out to all the relevant signatories. They're going to log in and then for for those signatories, um, the fields which they are responsible for, it's going to highlight yellow. So there's no confusion. They can't accidentally sign somebody else's stuff and they're not going to be able to send it back until they signed everything either. So it's going to look like this. So document packs powered by Adobe Sign. Is that pretty cool? 